how did it, uh, how did it feel to be back up? Uh, there's a lot of gratitude just to you know be present tonight with everyone, you know, and just go out there and have have fun doing what we love to do. You know, it was a not not so good first half for us, and, and we came in the locker room and we knew that um, you know in order to build this identity uh, that we want to have later in the, later in the season, we got to start now. And uh, with me joining right now, I. I feel like I have a voice to say things, but really it's just to add on to, to what uh, Steve's been saying, to you know what our leadership's been saying on the team. It's just that we have to have a resolve and we have to continue to do the little things, uh, boxing out, being there for our teammates, and, and just just playing with a strong face, you know, just going out there and doing what we do. Curry, you've had a, you've had a bunch of different kinds of debuts throughout the touch of your career, but your life, mm -hmm. you know, all the way back to does tonight compare to any one of those? Or which one do you think would be the closest? <laughs> You're right. I, I've had a lot of debuts, but nothing comes close to this one. It, it just uh, it meant a little bit, a lot. It meant a little bit more, uh, just because at this stage, you know, taking off eight months or or being out of the game for eight months and coming back in, there's so much uncertainty. It's just how many minutes. You know, what's the flow of the game going to be like? How are my teammates going to feel and what's the game flow going to be? Uh, you know, you just don't have any idea. So I, I went in with, a, you know, just a just an open mindset, just to ground myself, be present and, and do whatever it, it takes to win. I, I think in, uh, in the first possession when I shot that shot, I, I was so caught up in, in just making my first <laughs> two points. You know, I was so, so nervous. Uh, and, and naturally, you know, as a performer, I still get nervous. Uh, but that first shot was like, man, I wanted that to go in. And then um, I settled down closer to the second half. Um, you know, when, once I came back out and, and I just said, well, whatever's needed out there, let's, I'm just going to do. And, and I know everyone's going to follow suit like, like they've been doing all season. Yeah. 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 An amazing impact, man. Just been for that long, um, but also playing the last few games and then coming in tonight. Uh, I'm sure he he had an idea that he was going to be kind of on the bench, and then he came in and made that big change. And when you when you have that that, that type of, of uh, resilience within you, it, it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter at all. And he's been doing it for quite a while. I've been watching him since he was. You know, a junior, senior at St. Pat's, we talk about it all the time. And just to be at this level playing together, it's just real special. We don't take it for granted. Um, but to, to have him come out and make the impact he did, it's, it's really, it only helps us. It only helps us. You talked about settling down. And so what did it, how important was it for you to have the impact that you did at the end of that game in that long run from the middle of the third to the end of the game? You had 13 of the last 46. It felt good, uh, but it, it really just started on the defensive end. I, I think that's where we're going to make our mark is consistently climbing up into guys and making it difficult. Uh, you know, so me just watching at home, I, I've, I've just seen a lot of teams uh, be somewhat comfortable. And then we come to the bench and, and we're trying to get it going and we're playing from behind. Um, but, you know, in this league, anybody can be beat on any given night. And, uh, you know, we, we have that target on our back. You know, we're one, two in the East. And, uh, you know, we have aspirations to be playing later in the, in the postseason. So I just think us settling in as a team and, and just being honest with one another out there, it helps. You know, that, that's, that's what we, we have all across the board. As you look at our, our team, we have a lot of veteran leadership. So, that, you know, the young guys are going to look to us. And, um, you know, when we could throw them out there and, and just have them play with high energy and, and make high basketball plays, I feel like they're learning from us and we're growing as a team. Right, with Alex and then Nick. <clears throat> I believe with most of these guys before, but Steve even said some of the scheme had changed and there was some different things. I mean, did you feel any growing pains, whether it be schematically or going to play off the guys? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, it, it honestly hit me in the first half when <laughs> we were just watching Lance Stevenson give us his best rendition of, of his show, you know, and I told, I told Lance during the game, I was like, I don't think I've ever seen you have a 20-point quarter like that. And it just, um, his debut here in Indiana, uh, we knew it was going to be a big deal, but we didn't know it was going to come like that. And uh, 
we all took it personal uh, when we came out in that second half. So it, it just shows you that uh, anything can happen on any given night. And we want to be prepared and, and stick to our game plan that we have with our coaching staff and then also being able to make adjustments as, as players out there on the floor. Uh, so it felt good to, to just be able to do that at a high level and um, come out with the win. Man, I'm I'm just taking it one day at a time. You know, like I said, uh, you know, earlier in the season, it just it's not an ideal situation, and I'm always praying um, that things get figured out and we're able to come to some collective agreement, uh, whether it be uh, with the league uh, or, or just things that's going on that could help uh, kind of ease what, what we're all dealing with, you know, with COVID and the vaccine. I think everybody's feeling it. So I don't want to make it simply about me and simply about, uh, you know, someone lessening the rules for me. I, I just, I, I, know the, I know what the consequences were. I still know what they are. Um, but right now I'm just going to take it one day at a time, like I said, and just enjoy this time that I get to play with my guys and, uh, you know, however it looks later in the season, and, and we'll uh, address it then. So there's, there's still a possibility. Huh? There's still a possibility. Oh, come on, man. Don't hang on to me. Kevin, what was it like having Kyrie out there? Kyrie's been incredible. Can I blame Mike? Okay. Um, it was incredible. I mean, y'all can't, y'all don't, I don't need no mic. <laughs> well, I was reading the, the other shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. What are people who the song? Whoever watched. But it was amazing to have him out there. I mean, I just missed his presence around the locker room, his energy, his vibe around the team. Um, and then on top, I mean, then the, his, his game is just so beautiful. You know, makes the game so much easier for everybody out there. Um, and it was amazing to see him um, out on the floor again. The crowd showed him so much love. Uh, teammates, you know, just the game of basketball is happy to have him back. And uh, he made the game so much more difficult for the Pacers, it's giving us a different attack, especially there in the fourth quarter. And just keep building on this. We'll ask you, him for maybe you'll maybe you'll pay doing the public truth. Is he nervous? Did he act on those? I'm sure he was. No, he didn't act that way. Uh, he, he got a nice poker face. Um, but I'm sure he was. You know, I haven't played in a long time. Get thrown into the fire like this midseason. And, you know, I'm sure he was a little nervous. But it didn't seem that way as the game went on. And he got comfortable. And you've seen him make, you know, highly athletic plays, knock down jump shots. So it felt like he'd been around. It looked like he'd been around for a while. You know, that's how you know. That's how you play when you just elite at everything on a basketball court. As long as you know, I was going to ask whether he has tells before he like you can tell when he's up or. Nah, man, he just nah. You know, Kyle usually say if he's been nervous or you know he'll let people know his emotions. And, you know, sometimes when he tells me he's a little nervous, and, and I think back, I'm like he didn't look like it. You know, it, it, the vibe didn't feel like he was nervous, but. He internalizes a lot, you know. You know, he's a quiet person naturally, but you know, he goes out there and plays with a lot of energy and passion. You've seen that earlier. Last one, guys. Yeah. On that first hand where you guys were down, or whatever was going to happen, did you think any of the problems you guys have were in relation to him? You guys readjusting each other? No. Nah. No, nah, I don't think it was defense more than anything. Last time, Lance Stevenson, sorry, Lance Stevenson came in and gave 20 points the first quarter. I mean, that set the tone for him. And the rest of them felt comfortable knocking down shots. You get a 10, 12 point lead, down them shots that you're shooting a little bit easier. You know, when we cut the lead to five, four, six, you know, even when we took the lead, some of those shots that they were shooting early in the game wasn't falling. So, you know, I think Lance got them going, calmed everybody down to start. And um, that was more so our problem than trying to integrate Kyle back. We had, what, 60 points in the first half. So it wasn't a problem, it wasn't an offense. How's it to have that guy back? Man, special. Uh, it feels like he's been playing all season. You know, he looks look comfortable as usual. Uh, his, his pace, his rhythm, uh, looked like Kyrie. And he definitely feel good to have him on the court. Our spirit, our energy is better. 
Yeah, yeah. just felt really, really good. Could you tell before the game whether he was a little more up or nervous? No, he was a normal guy, man. Just he chill, he gets to his, his pregame uh, routine, and just, you know, he's uh, he ready to go be a beast out there on the court. Uh, it took him, took him some time to get you know back into the flow of the game, but once he did, especially when we needed it, uh, he delivered. So you guys up when a guy like Lance scored with 20 points in the first quarter? No, I was it was just honestly it was funny because you know it would it would happen to us. You know, what I mean they had 37 points and he had 20. But we just kept our composure, you know. What I mean, we just we got more physical, especially that second half. Uh, made the shots more difficult and uh, you know, came more good. Yeah, you can see it coming at the end of the game. How long do you think it will take for the group to find their rhythm? Uh, it's gonna take some time, just because you know we gotta get used to him being on the road and not at home, things like that. But we've been a resilient group all year, and we'll, we'll eventually figure it out. Uh, hopefully, you know he's able to play throughout you know, every single game, home games and away games. But until then, we'll figure it out. We'll keep pushing and, and keep you know finding ways to come win wins. And what do you think? Uh, you guys were down seventeen late in the third, and then just finished on it. Awesome, like 46, I don't know, 18 run or something like that. Our defense. What turned it? Our physicality defensively. Like we were into bodies and uh, we challenged shots. Uh, we challenged their handle. Uh, we, we rebounded their basketball. First half, we, they were comfortable. They made shots. They were into the basket. They literally got anything they wanted. The second half, it was opposite. And, uh, you know, we got stops. We, offensively, we, you know, we did what we did. And <laughs> that was a game changer. How much was uh, DeAndre Bembry? Uh, wait, how much did he play a role in that? Huge, team? huge role. From not from basically being out of the rotation, coming in and changing the game, it was, it was big time. And that's what we're gonna need from each individual guy on this team. Is to, you know, we got a lot of guys that can that can uh, that can help us win games. So you gotta just be prepared. And if you're not in the rotation, you, know, you may, might get caught at any, any moment to come and change the game. And uh, DB did a really good job at that today.